It's October, it's fall, and it's still 100 degrees outside. Yeah, everybody right now is drinking what? Pumpkin, pumpkin spice. Lattes? Yeah, pumpkin spice lattes. And we're having bourbon lemonade. It's so darn hot here, but we still wanted to get into the fall spirit. So we decided to kind of make over our homes like a little bit, nothing like too crazy or anything like that. But no, we decided that our jumping off point was gonna be the wreaths that we made, our DIY, the little fall wreaths that we made last year. And because we and wanted to focus right on what? our. Our, our entryway mm -hmm. and um, for me my entryway if you don't remember um, we showed it in our last video which you will pop up here on the screen but my entryway is actually the front of my house and well, you know yeah hello it is well, no but I'm sorry I meant like my patio, <laughs> patio. right <laughs> my patio is the front of my house that's the first part that you see and then here we're gonna get to see your entrance and a little bit on the inside right yeah and trying to stick to our uh, more minimalist look but uh, modern take so if you like this kind of video, or if you know if you're not even subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. For our fall decor, we wanted to start with the entry, because that's the first place that people see when they come to visit you. Sorry about all that noise. There are some, um, I guess, city trucks out there. But this was a wreath that we did last year, and it was a DIY for spring and summer that we used. And um, now we're gonna switch up everything that you saw because we do have some peace lilies out here and um, a, a door mat that I've had now for quite some time. But again, I wanna set the tone for fall and I'm gonna show you how we did it. So like I said, we used the inspiration, um, actually our DIY wreath that we did last year as the inspiration. And so in picking the plants, as I changed out the pots, it was real important for me to stick to the same palette so that it's a real cohesive look when you um, walk in. But also uh, something that I always think about is to continue the look as you go inside the house. So in picking a doormat for the front of my house, obviously it's very important to stick to, for at least for me, um, I wanted to stick to the same color wave, but because it is a large entryway, it can get really expensive to find a large mat. So my solution to that is to layer the mats and that way I get the look that I want at a very reasonable price. I'm totally in love with my new entrance here. Um, I did tie everything back up to these colors. I love the plants because actually once fall is over, I'm going to plant these on my side yard. And I think that the mats look beautiful. It gives it a little more style and definitely use the colors for fall. Well, I'm not a professional decorator, but I think it's really important to continue your story from the outside going in. And since my house is a modern classic and I have very neutral colors, I really wanted to stay in that same story, but make it look like fall through layering, through colors, and honestly also through smells with the candle. Oh no! So as part of the fall, remember I said, you know, it, it's you can layer, you have textures. Um, I ended up using actually a lot of things that I already had. Um, I had this space before and so I just moved it from where it was and I added, I think these are kumquats. So if any of you all know, please let me know. Um, and then I tell people when I travel, I like to pick up little pieces of art because then it reminds me of the place that I was at. And I had picked this up um, in Dallas when I was visiting some friends. And then again, it's just about layering. So in fall, it's about reading. You're staying more indoors. I put in some books. I threw in some pumpkins that a friend of mine gave me. Um, I actually have a, a candle in here that I love but the decor doesn't really go, so I just put it inside of this other vase, and then of course I kept my lamp. One of the big things 
things for me when it comes to decor is really taking care of my patio because my patio is actually the first thing you see when you're coming into my home. So um, on one of our last videos, it was called our patio makeover. You can check it out. Um, the link will be somewhere in the description box and it links all the furniture and stuff like that. And so I really took our time to decorate this place. And since it is so hot outside, um, I still wanna make it feel like fall and warm and cozy to be able to be out here and enjoy it with my family or my animals, so yeah. use some of the stuff that I have so like this cream pillow that I have that was actually a gift from one of our friends uh, thank you Mariosa I layered over these really fun um, kind of camel rust colored velvet pillows that are actually machine washable so perfect for outside awesome and then um, moving over to my kind of tablescape area I found this beautiful gold lantern and to fill it instead of putting in a candle or anything like that um, I added these eucalyptus um, stems and I got them at a really, really great price. Um, added these really cute little mini pumpkins that were from a friend of ours. Thank you, Nancy. I love the different colors. And I finished it off with a really cute black. It's a hand um, carved skull that my boyfriend Eugenio got me when we went on our first trip to Oaxaca. seating area what I wanted to do is I still wanted to create that cozy feel without adding more pillows because I mean okay you can have too many pillows I think um, especially for outdoors I added a beautiful plaid throw that's not too heavy and it has that rust color and the ivory color to tie back to the um, rug that I have I use these and actually it was my mom's idea so thank you mom um, use these candlestick holders that I had inside on my entryway brought them out here and then I found these amazing coasters that have a little bit of that gold detailing also to tie back to the canister. And then um, I actually like to light my candles with a match. So I have these really cute little matches that say a mighty flame follows a tiny spark. One of my favorite things that my mom and I do every season is do our own DIY wreath. And so this is a wreath that we did for fall. We had it last year. This year, you know, we just did quick little touch-ups. And so one of the problems that I face is that because I have a glass centerpiece that the um, the wreath won't always stay put, put. And so my mom came up with a great idea, so shout out to all moms. She, we put some command strips and just to be able to get it to stick. Love that. So there, it's set in place. What I love about these succulents is that they actually tie back to my welcome mat that I already have. Super cute. Home sweet home, and I actually think we got this at Kirkland's, and it's perfect because anybody that knows me knows that I love cactus and succulents. And the way I tied back the the wreath and the rest of the decor in the home, or excuse me, in my exterior, what's well, still part of my home, is with these beautiful rust-colored mums that we got at Home Depot. They're just gorgeous, and they are perfect for fall. camera died and we're having to switch to the phone but we want to make sure that we shared the whole video on um, our fall decoration and inspiration we had a blast doing it so um, and sorry Lil Zini's in the photo and we're like on a race with the Sun because we are shooting outside um, we had such a good time doing this and let us know what's your y'all favorite holiday to decorate for let us know in the comment section down below and we'll see you in our next video bye